Hello everyone. Today we are going to talk about application of Bernoulli's equation. Bernoulli's equation is an important equation in fluid mechanics, especially in all the calculation for piping system. So you are familiar with the Bernoulli's application. Today we are going to use pump in uh, the system and see how we can use Bernoulli's equation. So let's just review uh, what is Bernoulli's equation. We have three terms in Bernoulli's equation. First one is pressure head, second one is velocity head, and the third one is uh, the elevation head. Okay. There is some Bernoulli's assumption. First of all, it's only accurate for viscous flow. And also the flow should be in a steady state. The third Bernoulli's assumption is we just can write Bernoulli's equation along a streamline, not across the streamlines. And the fourth um, important Bernoulli's assumption is this energy equation is just for incompressible flow and no energy will be added or lost. Okay, so if we want to write complete Bernoulli's equation is like this. So these terms is head for pump, this one is head for turbine, and the last one is head loss due to friction. What we learned from previous lectures is the head loss due to friction can be found from this equation. We also learned from previous lecture about internal flow and laminar flow that if we find the Reynolds number which is density velocity hydraulic diameter over absolute viscosity we can tell if the flow is laminar turbulent or transitional Reynolds number is a unitless equation the other things we learn is head loss or Darcy equation which is friction factor L over D velocity squared over 2G. We learn F is friction factor or laminar flow friction factor is 64 over Reynolds number right so why we need head loss because in this equation Bernoulli's equation we need to know what is the head loss due to friction and then we discuss when we have the turbine or pump how we can solve the equation what else we learn you have your lab memo about energy line and hydraulic grade line so what is energy line the summation of pressure head plus velocity head plus elevation head is energy line and the hydraulic grade line if you just subtract velocity head you have hydraulic grade line all right this is all we learned so far and i hope you could catch up with all the lectures um, previous lectures and now you are ready to uh, be introduced for designing piping system but today only we work on application of Bernoulli's equation orifice and jet trajectory so first we're going to talk about Bernoulli's equation application and solve some real world examples so there is a difference between culvert and bridge if it's 
more than 20 feet we call it bridge otherwise we call it culvert as a civil as a civil engineering we design a lot of bridges or culvert a lot of time i see senior design students design culvert so you you need this equation a lot for your senior design also so here is when we have a river and there is a covered or bridge here we can use energy method or it's the same as Bernoulli's equation both of them have the same name um, so we can write velocity head between point two and point three so it's a velocity head and elevation head if you look at there is something that you see it's y3 and y2 what do you think what is these things yes it's similar to pressure head pressure over gamma is pressure head in this case for example it's y2 because if we have a piezometer the piezometer just shows the pressure head similar things you experience experience in the lab all right so again this is energy equation and h sub of e is a head loss it's different format of Bernoulli's equation what is culvert culvert is something like this that sometimes it's non-embedded culvert it means there is no um, aggregate here sometimes it's embedded culvert so both of this culvert is another things that we design in this course and also in your senior design so anytime we have a culvert like this we can write energy equation between point one and point two and find for whatever it's unknown or for this picture, we can write Bernoulli's equation between this point or this point or after um, uh, this, uh, this wall. So you see a lot of stuff here, but this is a topic for open channel. So for now, just remember, anytime you need to, to find something downstream, upstream, or any, anywhere in the piping system, you just can apply Bernoulli's equation. All right, now it's time to uh, use Bernoulli's equation in an example. Let's read the example and see what it's given and what we need to find. Water at 20 degree associate in the pressurized tanks follow out and creates a vertical jet as shown. Okay, so Anytime the temperature is given, it means we can go back of your textbook and find the density. Density is always important for us. It's 998 kilogram per cubic meter. So what else we have? Assume a steady frictionless flow. So it means we can use Bernoulli's equation. Determine the height to which the jet rises. All right, so we want to know what is this height. So what do you think, how we can solve this problem? Yes, as always, if you want to solve any problem from now on, the first things that comes to your mind is using either Bernoulli's equation or continuity equation. So the next question is which point are the good point to write Bernoulli's equation? It means the points that we know some information about that, either it's pressure, velocity, or elevation. Yes, point one. At point one, it's a large surface, so velocity is zero. How would pressure? Pressure is already given, it's 75 kilopascal. The gauge in the pressurized tank can show, show us what is the pressure there. 
what else which point is the best yes point three at point three from physics we know velocity the top is zero also it's open to atmosphere so pressure at point three is zero all right so i need elevation i have elevation for p3 elevation is h for point one is 85 centimeter or point 85 meter so i assume my datum is here and then i write the bernoulli's equation okay so let me write the bernoulli's equation so it's p1 over gamma plus v1 over 2g plus v1 equals p3 over gamma plus v3 squared over 2g plus z3 now it's time to think about what is zero okay and get rid of all that is zero so velocity at point one is zero okay this one pressure at point one i know elevation i know pressure at point three is zero velocity at point zero point three is zero elevation at z3 i know what is the elevation now i can write this equation so pressure is 75 it's kilopascal so it's 10 to the power of 3 over gamma or rho g it's 981 multiply the density plus zero plus 0.85 is equals to pressure is zero velocity is zero plus h all right i can solve for h which is 851 meter so the jet raises the water up to the height of eight 0.51 meter so you have similar things in the lab in your lab your lab manual you have orifice so there is a water tank there is an orifice so you can measure the height of this water tank and then you can measure the flow you have the height you can find the velocity at here okay so if you write the Bernoulli's equation between point one and point two you can find the height or whatever you need to do or find the velocity all right so let's introduce power for pump in you in one of your homework you you study the textbook and you know what is the power for pump equation okay let's see what's the equation it's rho g hp multiply q so everything is familiar to you gamma is a specific weight um hp is the head for pump and q is the flow rate all right so now we know how to can how to find the power for pump let's solve an example with the pump so here is the example let's read it and see what it's given so when the pump in draws 220 cubic meter per hours of water at 20 degree associate from the reservoir the total friction head loss is five meter so it means um 
this 220, what is this? It's a flow rate, so this is Q. The temperature is given, so if we need gamma or density, we can find, and the head loss is five meter. So this is the head loss due to friction, which is HF is five meter, okay? What else is given? The flow discharged through a nozzle to the atmosphere. Estimate the power for pump in kilowatt delivered to the water. So what we need to find is power for pump. In your textbook, sometimes it's given with um, W dot. So the equation that we just learned, it's rho g h p q so what we need q is already given rho g we know the uh, temperature we can find the density and gravity the only thing that we don't know is head for pump how we can find the head for pump think about it. correct we can write bernoulli's equation what we need, we need to know head for pump. Then we need to find two points that, e that it's easy to write Bernoulli's equation. What is those points? Yes, one is at the surface of water where we know velocity is zero, pressure is open to atmosphere, it's zero, also, Elevation, if I assume the datum is here, elevation is also zero. What is the next point? It's point two here. So at point two, I know it's open to atmosphere. So pressure at point two is zero. Velocity at point two, I don't know. Elevation at point two, based on my datum, is two meter. Okay, if I write the Bernoulli's equation, I know pressure, velocity at point two, I don't know, I know the elevation. The only things that I need is velocity at point two. Let me write the Bernoulli's equation and then see what we need. So Bernoulli's equation is pressure at point one plus V1 squared over 2G plus V1 plus head for pump equals P2 over gamma plus V2 over 2G plus Z2 plus head for turbine plus head due to friction. I always use the general form of Bernoulli's equation and then I decide which one is zero. So pressure at point one is zero. Velocity at point one is zero, it's a large surface. Elevation at point one is zero. Pressure at point two, it's also is zero, it's open to atmosphere. Elevation at Z2, I know what is elevation. For, for the turbine, I don't have any turbine. So this one is also zero. And head for uh, head loss, I know it's five meter. So the only things that I don't know is head for pump, correct? How about velocity at point two? Is there any way I can find the velocity at point two? Because I cannot solve the equation with two unknowns. Yes. How I can find the velocity? The flow is given. The cross section area is given. The I know the diameter. So the diameter is five centimeter. I can find the velocity. All right, let's find the velocity. So using continuity equation V2 A2, it's 220, it's per hour, so I divided by 
3600 to make it second because I want cubic meter per second equals to V2. What's the area is pi, the radius is 0.25 squared. So I use my calculator and solve for V2, which is 31, 12 meter per second, right? Now I have everything I want in the Bernoulli's equation. Let's solve Bernoulli's equation. So pressure is zero, velocity is zero, elevation is zero, 4.1 HP, I don't know. How much is it? Pressure at point two is zero. Velocity is 31.12. Make sure you don't forget the squared over 2G. It's a metric system, so G is 8.91 plus uh, elevation is two meter. There is no head for turbine and head loss due to friction, it's five meter. All right, so from here, I can solve for head for pump, which is 56.4 meter. Okay, so what I need to find, I found the head for pump, right? What I want to find was estimate the pump power. So I need to find this one. Now I have everything to find the power for pump. Let's find the power for pump. So power for pump, W dot is rho G H P Q, which is nine, nine, eight, at this temperature, 20 degree associate, the density is 998, multiply gravity 9.81, multiply the head for pump 56.4, multiply Q, which is 220 divided by 3600 to make it in uh, second. So the answer is 33,700 watt or if you want to make it kilowatt it's just 33.7 kilowatt. All right. Now we are going to use Bernoulli's equation in another application. So this application is so important. Sometimes uh, the problem asks you to draw um, hydraulic grade line and energy line. So, you know, just you need to write, um, you know, Bernoulli's equation the same way we did, just in hydraulic uh, grade line or energy line, you have a jump in pump which is equals to head for pump, 56.4 meter. So remember this type of problem is so practical and uh, it's so important. All right, let's solve another example using Bernoulli's equation. We probably solved this problem in our review package, but I'm going to go over it as it's so important if you didn't um, um, catch it well in the midterm package. So determine the velocity of water through the pipe if the manometer contain mercury held in the position shown. Take the density of mercury, mercury 13,550 kilogram per cubic meter. All right. So in this problem, it's combination of manometer and Bernoulli's equation. So we can write the, um, uh, write the manometer equation between point A and B. E is about somewhere here. 
and uh, B is exactly at the beginning of the tube and then write Bernoulli's equation. All right, so let's, um, let's start with the equation for manometer. Before we start that one, just the density of water, if it's not given, we can assume it's a thousand kilogram per square per cubic meter uh, or gamma is 10 to the 4 newton per cubic meter. All right, let's write the manometer equation between A and B. So we start from A, pressure at A plus, we're going down, so anytime we go down, it's plus gamma H and anytime we go up, it's minus gamma H. So it's plus the density of water, G, H, A to, let's call this point C and this point, point D. So it's plus root water, G, H, A, C, plus, again, we're going down, it's mercury, so it's, the density of mercury, G, H, B, um, let's call it B, D, because we jump across from this point to this point, then we're going up, so it's gamma or, or density for water, G, H, B, D, this one, let's call it C, D. Um, equals to pressure at point B. Right now we can substitute the number we have. So we have everything except the pressure at B and A. So we want to find the differential pressure between A and B. So it's pressure at A plus thousand, uh, let me write it here. So it's pressure at A plus thousand multiply 981 multiply the height, which is 0. 0.15 plus density of mercury is 13,550 multiply 9.81, the height is 0 0.05 minus 1000, multiply 9.81, multiply the height is 0.2, equals to PB. From here, you can find PA minus PB equals negative, 61.55.78 Pascal. Okay, there is one equation from manometer, but I don't know pressure at A and pressure at B. All right, the next equation I'm going to use is Bernoulli's equation between A and B. All right, let's write Bernoulli's equation between A and B. So pressure at A over gamma plus VA equals zero over 2G plus ZA equals pressure at B over gamma plus VB squared over 2G plus ZB. Okay, let's see what is zero. So they have the same elevation, so elevation at A and B is zero. At a stagnation point, the velocity is zero, so we don't have any velocity at B. So I can, I have three unknown. One is pressure at A, pressure at B, and velocity at A. But I know what is the subtract or different difference between A, pressure at A, and pressure at B. All right, let's substitute the number and find pressure A minus pressure B. So it's 
PA over 10 to the 4 plus VA squared over 2G plus 0 equals pressure at B over 10 to the 4th plus 0 plus 0 and from here PA minus PB is negative 500 V squared A. All right, now from equation one and equation two, you can find the velocity, right? So negative 61.55.78 equals negative 500 V squared A. From here, you can find the velocity at A, which is 3.5. 51 meter per second. All right, we saw it for velocity at A. The reason that we, uh, we went over application of Bernoulli's equation is in internal flow and um, all a designing piping system, we need Bernoulli's equation, we need head loss and Reynolds number. So in next lecture, which is very important, it's the turbulent flow calculating all the head loss and um, head loss due to friction and minor head loss and then major loss which is Darcy equation. So make sure you review all the lectures uh, so far uh, to prepare for the next lecture. Let, let's call it a day and uh, if you have any question, you can uh, just ask me during my office hour. Okay, have a good one and take care.